In today's video, we are going to be exploring the Templates Cloud plugin. It allows you to store templates and reuse them across all of your websites as long as you are using the same license key. So Templates Cloud is available as a standalone plugin and it's also available in the Neve Pro Agency plan. So right now I'm using the free version of Neve. I'll just go to Appearance to show you. All right, here it is. So in this case, we'll need to install Templates Cloud. So I'll go to Plugins, then Add New. Now in the search box, I'll type in Templates Cloud. Now let's install and activate this one. So here we can see that it was installed. And now we'll need to go to Appearance, then My Library. And now it's asking us to upgrade to Pro. So if you don't have the Neve Pro Agency plan, you'll need to purchase Templates Cloud separately. Just click on Upgrade to Pro. And on this side, click on Upgrade Now. Now in my case, I'll go back and click on I already have a key, since I do. And I'm just going to go to my Themal account and copy my Templates Cloud key. So right here, I'm going to click on Copy and I'll go back and paste it in this field. Activate. Okay, and now that it's verified, we can go ahead and close this. Alright, so as we can see here on this page, we have separate tabs for each of the supported page builders. And right now we have no templates, but I'm going to show you guys how you can add your own. We'll start with Gutenberg. So let's hover over Pages and we'll go to All Pages in a new tab. And I have a page here called Monthly Pricing. So let's open it. All right, here it is. And we are going to save this to the cloud. So let's go to the Templates Cloud icon over on the right. It's right up here. And we can now save our page to the cloud. And I'm also going to keep Automatic Sync on. And that ensures that updates to this template will be pushed to the cloud as well. All right, so once it's saved, we can actually go ahead and view it inside of Templates Cloud. So let's switch tabs. Let's refresh. Okay, so we actually need to go back to our library. And here's our monthly pricing page. Okay, so now I'll show you how to save just one block to the cloud. We just need to click on the block and click on these three dots. Then click Save to Templates Cloud. We can give it a name. I'll call it Basic. And I'll click on Save. All right, so at this point, we can go back to Templates Cloud. And if we go ahead and refresh, we should see our new template. It's right here. Okay, so now I'll show you guys how to work with Elementor templates. So let's quickly jump to All Pages. And I'll open a page called Outdoors. I created this with Elementor previously. Let's edit with Elementor. So now we can see my template, and this is just a basic card. Now to add it to the Templates Cloud, we'll just click on this icon and we'll click on save. And I'm also going to make sure that this one automatically syncs to the cloud as well. So this is on, I'll click save. So once it's saved, we can go back to our templates library to view it. Let's refresh. We'll choose Elementor. So now I'm going to show you guys how to use your templates on another site with templates cloud, as long as you have the same license key. So right now I'm in my dashboard on a totally different WordPress website. I already have Elementor installed, but I'm going to go ahead and install the Templates Cloud plugin on this site. I'll also speed up the process. And once it's done installing, I'm also going to go ahead and activate Templates Cloud. Now, once it's activated, we can go ahead and close this little window. And let's also click on this sync icon right next to it. Uh, that's just to load all of our synced templates. We may need to refresh the page, so I'm just going to go ahead and do this. All right, so here they are. We have the ones we made in both Gutenberg and Elementor. Now let's import a Gutenberg template. We'll do monthly pricing. We'll click on import. And now we can either visit or edit. And that will open in the editor. Now let's go back to view our Elementor templates. We'll click on the Elementor tab and we'll click on import on this one. Import again. And let's click visit this time. Okay, so here's our card. And I'll show you an example where I'll import this into a page. So let's go ahead and create a quick post. I'll call this test and I'll click on edit with Elementor. We'll just wait for this to load. And once it's done, I'm going to click on the templates cloud icon. And once we see our template, we'll click on insert. So that's all there is to it. All right. So I really hope this helps subscribe to our channel to see more videos like this one. Thank you for watching and see you next time.